to whoever needs to hear this. They don't care about your dark inner thighs. They don't care about your dark armpits. Body hair is the least important thing. And honestly, if they really do care, they're not grown. Your tummy was already known since before y'all already started. So let loose and just have fun. To a certain degree, dude, I met up with a lot of girls that turned out to be men. But on a really lighter note, I've met a lot of women that weren't what they said they were gonna be, dude. And you just kind of like show up and you're like, I'm desperate, dude. It's been probably five, six, seven, eight years since I've even smelled a woman. So I guess maybe I just take the chance or whatever, dude. Even though she literally lied about her entire appearance, she looks nothing like she, I, I thought she was black and this woman is Korean type of thing. And uh, it is what it is sometimes. You just gotta roll with the punches almost. Even this person is literally Mike Tyson and you're just like pounding your face in, you know, type shit. But regardless of that, I don't know. Like, it just depends. Like, you know, a lot of guys on the internet are very down bad. A lot of dudes will accept almost anything. Um, the armpit hair is true. I've dated plenty of women. I don't really care if a girl has armpit hair. To a certain degree, if it's longer than mine, it's probably a big deal, to be honest. But most of the time, like, if you're a few three, four, five days late uh, after shaving or whatever, dude, it's all right. Like, nobody really cares, to be honest. Same thing with leg hair. I've dated women before that have, like, completely stressed out because they're like, oh, my God, I didn't shave my legs last night. And I'm just thinking... Uh, yeah, so what? Like, I don't even notice it. Like, I, I don't even see hair on your legs at all. But those little, like, little follicles that you see are, like, really life-changing thing. But then again, I've dated some girls that are having, like, mental breakdowns that are calling you up at, like, 1230 at night. And they're going, my hair is dry. What am I going to do now? My life is over. And I'm just saying, like, what do you mean your hair is dry? Like, what are you talking about? Show me. And then I see it. I'm like, I don't even notice a difference. And then it's over at that point. I mean, I, I pretty much sealed the deal. I don't even think we're in a relationship anymore if you say that. You definitely can't say that. If... If you're on the phone call with your girlfriend and she asks you if her hair is dry and you say, I don't notice a difference between you and yesterday, it's over. It, at that point, you just sealed the deal on that. But definitely, uh, if you have accurate pictures, you won't have to really worry about this. I mean, if you're a fat girl and you're meeting up with a guy and he knows that you're fat and your pictures are authentic, dude, and not authentic in the sense of like, I took these pictures five years ago, but I took these pictures within a year and they're accurate to what I look like currently, then you're probably fine. This shouldn't be an issue, but it is it's always an issue for these people. If y'all have gotten that far, why are you overthinking if they even think you're hot? Yo uh, if you're meeting up with somebody, just because you're looking at a few pictures, how many pictures do people have on their like dating profile? Like five, six, maybe at most. Um, if you have more than that, you're weird. Like, I, I don't know how many times I've like seen profiles and like, oh, 43 pictures. And you're like, I'm not scrolling through. I'm not scrolling through 43 pictures. And that's ridiculous, dude. Just link to Instagram. And then there's the also the people that make the profiles really really long and they're like really diverse for some reason they're going over their favorite disney movies and you're just like looking like what the fuck are you talking about dude like i i, I don't know like i'm already i'm already getting red flags off of you like you like what movie of princess and the frog is your favorite disney what are you talking about get away from me but i see those long profiles and i always think this this is irrelevant what how long did it take you to write this why are you already giving me like at your entire wikipedia page like you're disclosing like oh yeah my parents died when i was nine i you know when i was like 15 years old i was on a roller coaster and i learned how to fly like i'm hearing i'm seeing the entire wikipedia page right now and i'm just thinking like this is stuff that i could have found out about you if we dated okay keep it ambiguous keep it short keep it sweet okay two paragraphs at most and don't even talk about anything really necessarily of value just say that you like i don't know dude don't don't say that you like licking drywall like that would be really interesting or something like that like when you go outside you're anti-umbrella and so you think that anytime somebody wears an umbrella you like curse at them on the street or something like that i don't know be funny dude there's plenty of things that you can do but don't do the long profiles dude those are cringy and stop like stop having the restrictions already pre-built in there can't be under six feet must have a car from 2000 or above 2020 and above cannot be voting for donald trump cannot watch anime must not be a taurus what the fuck dude i don't even know what any of that stuff even is what is a taurus like the car like i don't whatever i'm not a transformer but y'all are literally half naked stop overthinking the most awkward and ugliest positions are probably gonna feel the best and most of all, do things at your own pace and at your own boundaries. And if you need to stop, absolutely stop. Yeah. There's no need to keep going. Didn't I mean, a lot of that stuff was okay. Yeah, it's fine. A plus size. Along the way, and I, 
I dig your swag. And Man, I listen, dude. If I'm da Harry, looks beautiful, by the way. Very, very nice. Uh, if you're dating a dude or whatever, you're on a date with a guy, and he goes, "Yeah, girl, mm, I dig your swag and shit." I'm, I'm. <laughs> Is that not, like, is that just okay with you guys? Like, I'm not, no, nah, I'm fine, dude. What you mean my swag? What are you, from 2011? <laughs> okay, Justin Bieber. I think you're so beautiful. Again, that's also not a good thing either. Like, if you're on a first date and the guy goes, I think you're so beautiful, that should also be taken as a red flag. I know a lot of people might think that's a good thing, but um, it's, it's, it's giving desperate. It's giving, I know, hashtag, I know my value type shit. I don't know, man, whatever. Bro. You know, you know, you're the first big girl that I've been attracted to. <laughs> that's tough i mean but then again most of that stuff was red flags anyway so i mean you should have probably left anyway and uh you know what dude i can't say this is a pov but it looks like it's a pov it's not a pov by the way you have to be a pov it has to be showing what you see so anyway i'm like love is the biggest compliment of all right and if you don't receive it i feel like you just don't match to a certain standard in society Okay, this is gonna sound crazy, but it's me we're talking about here. If you are a part of the never been in love, meaning- Man, listen, dude, okay? Look, I, I know a little something, something about wig installations, all right? I've been around a lot of black ladies. I've dated some black ladies, right? So I understand that there are procedures involved and, and, and ways to which you install a wig accurately and authentically to ensure that it looks like it's not a wig. The entire intention of a wig is to look like it's not a wig. Otherwise, you just might as well just go on Amazon and type in George Washington wig and just buy that. You know, what's the point anyway? Like, if, it's, if it looks like it's a wig, you might as well just go all out and just buy a fucking George Washington wig. At least then you look funny. But if you're going to install a wig... Uh, maybe this is just like an off day for her. Like maybe she doesn't like she's not trying here or whatever But uh, I've reacted to some videos with this girl before and every single time the wigs are always bad I don't know like if she's never looked up a YouTube tutorial That was longer than one minute I don't know if she's just on like fucking scrolling through those YouTube shorts or the TikTok shorts that are like one minute long You're not retaining a lot of information on that. Okay, watch like a 45 minute video I get it 45 minutes is a long time to sit down understand that all of our intention spans are very very depleted in 2024 but we need to take some time and figure out how we're blending uh figure out how we're getting rid of the mesh uh to figure it out whether how we're gonna install the wig accurately because this ain't it i gotta keep it a buck um i know your forehead's bigger than that i can see it stop lying to me it's too thick you're not you know plucking it too it's too thick and it's too thick on the front uh, i just i just shouldn't be the one you know i just I, if i'm being honest with you I, I just i really should not be the guy that has to tell you that your wig is bad. Who am I? I'm not even gay. I know a lot of people say that I'm gay, but I'm not. I shouldn't be the dude. I just, I, 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 I am not the one, okay? But uh, here I am, I guess. Mutual love. Never been like on uh, dates really or in relationships too much. What has helped me, emphasis on me, someone who has always been a hopeless romantic. Like Twilight is my favorite book type of hopeless romantic. That's sad, dude. Unrealistic standards for a lot of these people. And like, can we at least center our relationships in reality and not judge them based off of a a really bad i like rob pattinson you know he's really diversified his stream of movies that he's been in recently and i really like that right because he's trying to get away from the whole like romantic side of him or whatever showing off his real acting prowess and it's worked in his benefit he looks great in his more in his more recent movies right i loved him as batman i loved him in that one movie with uh, tom holland where he was having sex with his sister and stuff like that i thought it was a good movie it was on netflix i forgot the name of the movie but i think that if you're going to have a relationship and you're going to judge a relationship based off something, we should probably ground it in reality and not be grounding it in a bullshit Hollywood movie. It's always a red flag to me when I hear people go, oh, like, my judgment based off of relationships is the, like, this goes for men or women. It, I hear this all the time, is is the Ryan Gosling movie, dude. What, what's, what's that movie where they're, like, laying out in the street, dude, or the the notebook, dude? Like, oh, yeah, I fucking, you know, my, I, that's, my that's my dream relationship is the notebook. What are you talking about, dude? Like, you want your fucking boyfriend to, like, go to fucking war and then come back and then build a house? Like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, what do you, what do you even mean? Like, what are you talking about, dude? I have no idea. Like, what do you even mean by my favorite book is Twilight? Like, what do you want? Do you want to date a fucking, like, 800-year-old vampire that is technically not supposed to be at high school? Like, or whatever, man. It's, like, it's kind of weird, dude. Like, let's have some realistic expectations. As someone who went from that to I don't really care for love or believe in love whatsoever. Yeah, that's giving uh, you can't fire me, I quit. Like, that's what that is. You're basically saying I nobody wants me, but nobody wants me, so I might as well just not even play the game. And at that, that's sad. <laughs> that's really sad, dude. Because 
I'm able to get girlfriends. Like, I'm able, and I'm not, like, bragging about that. I just like to show you, like, if I can do it, you can do it, too. I don't know what you're doing. Oftentimes, when I see these people complaining about not being able to find a manses or hashtag daddy or whatever princess treatment, I always think uh, it's not the fact that you're fat. Like, being fat is obviously not helping you, but it's your mentality. Like, there's something, like, I promise you, dude, even fat girls, the worst, like, the bottom of the barrel women are getting boyfriends, dude, but you're... It's got to be something else. There's no way it's because you're because she's not unattractive. It, it, it's got to be something else. You're pro, you're you're literally taking dudes and you're like I don't know like there's like a force field around you or something. I don't know what it could be, dude. But it's are you wearing deodorant? Like are you saying the wrong thing? Like I don't know, man. But like most of the time it's not. It's 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 it's, it's external. Most of the stuff it's like in their brain that's propelling r repelling these guys. Start telling yourself that you're never gonna find love so you can start living. Dude, that's fucking sad. That is so sad, bro. Damn, bro, that's sad. This is actually depressing. Just tell yourself you'll never find love and then you'll feel okay because at least that's one less thing to worry about, I guess, even though you want to find love. Damn, bro, that's... <laughs> That is really harsh. I feel like once I repeatedly put in my head that I was not going to be loved, that's when I started to work on myself and change myself inwardly and outwardly. I, I just want to know why you can't find a boy, a boyfriend or like whatever you're looking for. I just, I really have to know. Is it your standards, dude? Oftentimes I see people having really unrealistic standards and because of that, it's very difficult for them to find. Like I've literally talked to women before that are like, if he doesn't have a master's, and he's not over six foot, uh, I can't date him. And I'm just thinking, oh, and they're also like, oh, he has to be Christian and a virgin. And I'm just thinking like, okay, so like, I don't know, like go to fucking, go 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 find a guy in like Amish land or something like that. I, do, do they even go to school there? I don't know. But like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you, what, where are you ever gonna find that guy? Like, are you living in the same universe as me? Like, what are you talking, six foot masters? You're 21. Like, what are you even talking about, dude? Like, there's no, and like, oh, the age gap has gotta be at, like, at, it's got to be three years, three years or less. What guy is 24 years old and has a master's, dude? What are you talking about, man? Like, that's six figures, six foot, and has a master's? Like, what do you want? You want me to, like, just tell you that that's not going to happen? You're just going to be single for a while? Is that what you want me to tell you? Like, you're fucking, you're, it's done for you. It's over. Like, you, you just told me you're going to be single. Like, that's it. Like, I don't know what to tell you, bro. That's it. So the same thing here, like maybe she just has really, really unrealistic standards and that's prohibiting her because I don't even think that I have really bad standards. Like you just have to have a job. You have to be nice to me and like kind of attractive to me. That's really it. I mean, I'm sure there's like other things, but most of that stuff is like secondary or third, if that makes any sense. So, I mean, like one of the things would be like no foot fungus, preferably, obviously. Um, and, you know, uh, obviously wear deodorant wash yourself would be good i like that but that's not even a deal break honestly um uh, vagina is non-compromisable i don't want uh i don't want to suck dick i personally don't want to suck if you want to that's fine um but i'm not i'm not with that so if you have a penis that's a non-negotiable for me but i feel like my 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 standards are not uh i feel like they're they're easily obtainable but for a lot of people, it's like they have really, really unrealistic standards. And for some reason, they go like 10, 15 years of their life with the same standards. And they go, why am I not finding a boyfriend? Bro, what are you talking? You want like go date a fucking camel. I don't know. What are you like a six foot has a master's? Like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, that's not real. And I feel better. And obviously that's sad, though. You're basically admitting defeat and you're telling yourself something just to just to get the day by change myself inwardly and outwardly. And I feel better. It obviously doesn't seem that way because I am overexpressing. You know, I feel, I mean, I said this yesterday in like that video before this, but I feel like sometimes people just say stuff and it's really crazy. Like you'll say the craziest shit. And for some reason, um, people just get passes. Like people will say some really crazy, really cringy shit. And for some reason, people will just like watch that stuff and they'll go, yeah, 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 I, I can understand. But, dude, that's, like, a really nonchalant way of saying, like, you just gave up on everything. Like, I mean, hey, dude, if that's what you want to believe, and that's how you want to go about your... That'd be, like... Like, for me, I'm never going to be black, and I'm okay with that. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm not trying to convince myself that I am black. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just... It's okay to admit sometimes there are things that you're never going to do, but this scenario is just really, really sad. It's, it's actually... You could get a boyfriend. I know you could. You're not bad looking. You're just... There's got to be something else, man. Like, you're not, you know, have some fucking confidence in yourself, dude. How long's it been, man? How, like, what, like two, three years? Like, you got it, bro. You're still young, you you know? 
It's not bad. You got it, dude. But you have to realize I've been the type of person who never overexpressed because I wasn't allowed to because I'm fat and black. Oh, man, I hate it, man. Look, dude, I'm not going to not acknowledge that if you're fat and black that there aren't going to be prohibitations in the dating market. According to most dating statistics, black women are the most undesirable women in today's dating market, in the United States at least. And for me personally, you guys know I'm a snow bunny. I've only ever dated black women, so I don't know exactly why that's the case. It probably has a lot to do with stereotypes and things such and so forth. Um, I don't know. But I do know that when people tend, people tend to go, well, the reason why I don't get a boyfriend is because of these irreversible things that I have no control over. Therefore, there's nothing I can do about it. And I always think, that's dumb. Like, you're just basically taking away all accountability from yourself and trying to place all of the responsibility on things that you have no control over and you're never going to get better because how can you? These are things that you literally physically cannot change. So, therefore, you're just fucked, I guess. It's too easy for people to externalize all their problems. I'm sick of hearing this shit. I, 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 no matter what video it is, no matter what it is, I hear it a lot. It's not because you're fat and black. I promise. I mean, you know, I'm not saying those things are not prohibiting you. Definitely they are. But... Can we just be honest for a second? You're not bad looking, okay? And you're also not starting from a bad a bad place as well. There are people that are racist. Um, date white dudes. I don't know, dude. Date Korean guys. I, there are plenty of black guys that will date you too. But though, I've met a lot of black dudes that just refuse to date black women. So, I don't know. Like, I've met a lot of black dudes that just straight out tell me they're never going to date black women because they're too much to handle or they're just not compatible with them or whatever or they want too much or they do too much or whatever so i don't know personally i've dated i don't know how many black women probably three or four and all of them have been unique specimens of human being that have completely different perspectives on things so i would never go as far as to say that all black women are the same i mean sure they might be the same in the sense of like they have more melanin than me but that's really it or i guess maybe more lip capacity than me since i have like literally negative five but anyway. But the Oreo type of black, so they really want me to shut the fuck up. But yes, even now that I'm getting the most attention I've ever gotten in my life, I don't care. I'm still not being asked on a date. I haven't been on Why don't you ask other guys on dates? Like, why don't you be the one? I know a lot of people, like, I know that's culturally unaccepted for women to ask out men, but it seems like there's a major disconnect I've seen in the last few years where women are so comfortable stepping into mass traditionally masculine roles but men are just not so like men can't be the ones that are pursued men's are not men are not the ones that don't have to work like men have to work they have to do this they, they can't not take care of the house and stuff like that and it just kind of seems like women are like dude listen if you're so comfortable like doing all this other stuff what's wrong with asking out a guy if you're a hopeless romantic and no dudes are asking you out you know a lot of guys are like really intimidated by women in general some guys have like literally never had any contact with women baseline like they just never have contact especially in like the last social like and since social media has been a thing dude forget about it dude it's insane like it's almost like what one guy has talked to one girl in his life and that's like his sister or something like that so i i wouldn't i wouldn't shit on it dude like ask these guys out man what's wrong with that what's wrong with that i promise like most guys if you ask a guy out he's gonna go oh, yeah uh, yeah oh yeah Oh, yeah, unless he's already in a relationship, but the, you should probably already know that. Like, most people should know that unless you're just randomly asking out a guy that is on the street or something like that. But most people are not doing that. Most of the time, people are asking out friends or people in the office or people that you work with or people that are in school. And it's like, it's, You should know this stuff. Like, if you're around these people for a long enough time, you should pick up on social cues and understanding what they do and how they operate and, like, who's around them already. So uh, maybe ask out other people. I don't know. I get it. You're a girl and you don't want to ask out guys, but... Dude, if you haven't been on a date and you like you're fucking literally depressed sitting here on the internet talking about I've convinced myself that I'm gonna be lonely for, <laughs> for the rest of my life. Why you haven't exhausted every fucking outlet here, dude? You can you can keep going. The most attention I've ever gotten in my life. I don't care. I'm still not being asked on a date. I haven't been on a date in four years. I haven't had my cheeks clapped in four years. Damn, dude, that's tough, bro. Um Are you trying? I don't like are you trying at all, dude? Like, what are you doing to improve yourself, to make yourself more? Like, it's oftentimes I see that people are so quick to tell you what they want in somebody else. You know, oh, I need a girl with a fat ass. I need a girl that's double cheeked up, double D's, BBL on the lips or whatever, dude. And, uh, you know, all this other stuff. And I always think, like, that's fine. Everybody knows what they want. Like, when you're going into a restaurant, it's all about you. But why don't you, what do you have for that other person? Like, are you not... 
are you not improving yourself or the other person? Like, I'm sick of these people going, no, I am the table. You're not the table, dude. Work on yourself. It's okay to have things in your life that you can work on to make yourself more valuable for a potential candidate. And it can even be general things like understand what do most men want? I don't know, like a person that takes care of themselves, a person that has a job, somebody that's responsible, somebody that can like step up in the in the, in the place of like, you know, a great trauma and things such and so forth. You could be a strong individual. That stuff's like really important. And then also like becoming more attractive. We live, if you're trying to attract men and you're trying to get your cheeks clapped, could we just be honest here for a second? You're going for men, right? Become more pretty. And you know what? Granted, she's like, she's not the worst, but she's like, obviously there are plenty of things that she can do to improve physically. One of those things could be losing weight, and it can also be better wigs. <laughs> I don't know, bro. What's your natural hair look like, dude? There are plenty of things that you can do to improve yourself. I don't know. It, it might sound a little bit harsh to say this, but a lot of it is determined by you and how you present yourself outwardly. It is what it is. Um, if you want to attract men, you have to know what they're looking for. You can't just expect that guys are just going to walk up to you when you look like a bag of tomatoes, and you've been looking like a bag of tomatoes, like boiled tomatoes for four years and nothing has happened why haven't you changed the like there's no strategy change at all like once something doesn't work four years in a row and then you don't do anything to change that like i get it, it's easy to not do anything but god damn four years bro the no cheeks clapping the no cheeks clapping is kind of crazy though i'm still not being asked on a date i haven't been on a date in four years i haven't had my cheeks clapped in four years y'all y'all thought i was having it clapped every day why did we think that really Damn, dude, that's crazy. Who who thought that? Yeah, pay my rent, bitch, was your assumptions. Damn. But anyway. But yeah, crushing my dream of finding love in a family has- Do people think that I'm getting my cheeks clapped? How does this work exactly? Wait, why is that even a bad thing? I don't know, bro, whatever. Your assumptions. But anyway. But yeah, crushing my dream of finding love in a family has allowed me to feel more free. I guess, dude, but in the, in the process of- Like, you're self-admitting defeat. Like, you're literally going, there are things that I can do to change, but- I've already convinced myself that I'm ugly and I can't do anything about it, so therefore I'm fucked. Like I guess it's 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 like actually it's like actually insane, bro. This is crazy. Um, there are things you can do. You can improve. There are plenty of things that you can do to like attract other men. Why don't you ask out more guys? You're like, whatever, bro. I mean, hey, dude, whatever you want to say, but this is incredibly toxic and it's also incredibly depressing. But I hope the best to you, man. That's all I'm gonna say. As a fat who's been a fat for most of my adult life, I have experienced quite a bit of fat phobia throughout the years. And honestly, last night, I experienced something that I think takes the cake. I would say about 99.9% .9 of my, like, experiences in person with fat phobia for sure are more, like, microaggressive comments. Like, I don't really get people... Yeah, damn, that booty cheeks is fat, man. Damn, them things is massive. I want you to literally sit on my face. I need that. I need the, the voluptuousness. Obviously, most people are not going to do that shit out in public. Most stuff is going to be very, very microaggression-y or like, you know, off the cup type comments. In person, just outwardly calling me like fat or fat ass or just like bullying me kind of thing. I Of course, most men are not going to. Most men are whatever dude it's just like i don't know why these people will say that stuff as if we don't know that like when somebody when you claim that you're fat you think that we think that like dude, you went on a date with a guy last night and he was like damn like um can you let me know how many burgers you're gonna order because like i might have to take out debt like i might have to overdraft my can you just let me know so i can call up my bank to see if i can open up like an extra two thousand on my credit limit because i know your bitch ass gonna be hungry like obviously i know that's not what's happening <laughs> i know that's not what's happening most of the time it's gonna be like damn you're gonna eat all that Wow, um, you can barely fit in that chair. Uh, that's insane. Wow, you think you can smother me with your thighs? Like, obviously, it's gonna be stuff like that as opposed to, damn, bitch, you big. Like, I know. <laughs> Definitely was smaller in, like, middle school and high school. Maybe that would have been different, honestly, if I was yeah. bigger. At uh, of course it would have been different. I mean, like, yeah, whatever. You would have been younger, so. But it just has been something that I haven't really personally experienced. I've also been on the internet for, like, 10 years. Of course, you're gonna get called fat. You're gonna get called hippo. Whatever. That's just on the internet. But this experience happening in real life was honestly so embarrassing. Like, I'm actually kind of embarrassed to even say that it happened. So I was going to dinner with my friends, which is already, like, this is upsetting that I was not alone because it was just humiliating that it was in front of my friends. We were getting out of my friend's car. I was quite literally just existing and walking on the street and this guy rolls down his window who's at a stoplight and goes, heh heh whale out of water i just honestly was shocked like i couldn't believe it i think one other time i've had someone like kind of 
publicly like shame me for being fat and it was very humiliating but this one was in front of a friend so it was really embarrassing and like i feel like that's way out of water dude um that's tough but also he drive by that shit like he just drove by and said that shit just a quick shot who is he i don't know but is it gonna impact you the same way that your mom says that no probably not dude i've had disrespectful things be said around me before i mean i've had people say some disrespect like um today i was at mcdonald's and i got a cup of coffee and uh there was a guy who's like hey man you got you got any you got any cash like you got a dollar you got this and i was like nah sorry man i don't got cash and he said all right whatever bitch uh you don't got cash now but you got cash when your rent is due and i was just thinking about it i was like yeah uh, yeah, and by the way, I said I didn't have cash. I didn't say I didn't have money. I don't carry cash around. Sorry, my guy. And you know what? If I was going to give you a dollar, now I'm really happy that I didn't give you a dollar because you're now trying to offend me and you're using those words in a very derogatory way. Yes, of course I'm going to have my money when the rent is due. That's, yeah, I, I want to, like, live in a house. Yeah, and, like, not you know on the street and stuff like yeah of course it was a, i don't like i didn't want to like talk back then but like, i was very easily like wrap my head around i was like remember i was at the register i was like what the fuck like is that even a thing is that even disrespectful like you don't have money now but you're gonna have money when your rent is due yeah 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 i i think yeah that's very true yeah yeah i'm gonna drink water when i'm thirsty yeah i mean what is your point like what is that i don't know uh or i remember one time i was out with a girl and she was kind of like ahead of me almost, right? Because I was out with a whole bunch of other people. And uh, this guy had drove by and he had said like, he had said, Hey, hey, bitch, you so hot. You so pretty, bitch, so bad. I want to suck the dick of the last guy that fucked you, you so bad. And she smiled. She liked it. And I was like, wow, that was, that's pretty aggressive, huh? That was pretty aggressive. That's a top tier cat call right there, dude. That's some gay that's that's beautiful though in a way isn't it like you're you're you you think this woman is so attractive that you don't you don't want to have sex with her you want to engage in homosexual activity just to be in the presence of somebody that was in the presence of you, this girl that's beautiful isn't it that's man that's kind of magical a little bit dude i don't know i just i was thinking about that i was like wow that's that's beautiful man that's beautiful i mean obviously you don't say that to random people on the street but i mean you can go ahead do it but it's probably not the best I just was, it was too, it happened so fast. Did your friends laugh is the good question here, dude. If Did, did your friends go, because <laughs> oh, um. if they did that, then stop being their friends. That's, what the fuck? Or like, if that happened, I'd be like, yo, bitch, the fuck, bitch. You know, like, what do you do? Why are you make? what are you laughing at? I couldn't even say anything back or like, because they drove by them off or anything because I just, it, it took me a second to register what he was saying because it's so perplexing to me that you would literally say that to a random stranger like that's insane that's the best reason to do it because there's no consequences anymore like what are you gonna do you can't run after them <laughs> i got to the restaurant and, and i was telling my other friends that we were meeting there about what had happened why and i like actually kind of got teary-eyed when i was explaining the story which is weird because i didn't think i would care so much i don't know it was it was your inner your inner self is telling you that you have a problem and that it, it kind of it hits you hard because you know that it had some truth behind it probably yeah that's that's yeah that's your inner you telling you that there's some truth there really embarrassing though like honestly you know what you know what i love about and you know what i love about the internet dude sometimes people will, people will say i had this very 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 embarrassing situation happen to me and it was embarrassing because there was only four or five people around me that heard it. So I'm just going to tell literally my thousands and thousands of followers this embarrassing story so I can also, not, you know, make sure they also know how embarrassed I was. Like, what is the what is the humiliation kink here, dude? Like, how can you tell me you were crying about this shit and you expect to not cry about this? You don't think that there are going to be mean people going, I know you were. That was me, bitch. Like, you know what I'm talking about? There are probably people in your comment section right now being mean. You don't think that's going to make you feel like, I don't know, man. Sometimes I hear people say shit. And I'm just like, dude, you're fucking doing it to yourself at this point. Like, you got like a, you got like a kink. Is this a kink, dude? Why would you, did this actually happen? Or is this just a story just to get your, you know, just to get a little bit of something, something. Just to see the comment section and go like, yeah, I like that. That's good. I mean, that would make more sense than whatever the fuck you're doing here. It, like. Loki hurt my feelings. Like I didn't know. Yeah, I I'm sure the comment section is gonna be, you know, low key not hurting your feelings, right? I had those feelings. I don't know. It was just weird. Like, it felt like I was in middle school again, and that is so ugly. Even though, again, I really wasn't bullied for being fat in middle school, but it felt like 
that vibe like I actually got really upset by it because i was like how sad of a person do you have to be in how sad of a person are you that you took that compliment and then you then sat there and cried to your best friends at the restaurant about some random dudes in a car that drive by insulted you come on man is is, is it is it that serious bro like look dude I've had a few times where I was walking down the street and you know those kids on the bus? They just start randomly saying shit to you. Just, just out of nowhere. Hey, you're ugly. Why do you look like that? That's a really bad one, by the way. If somebody asks you, why do you look like that? Or if somebody asks you, damn, bro, what happened? That shit's really bad. If somebody asks you what happened, that is a disrespectful comment. But these kids will say some fucking, you know, dirty ass shit to you, bro. And you know what I do, bro? I always say, get up, come out, come out, let's talk about it, let's talk about it real quick. Yeah, let's talk, you you talking all that shit, right? Yeah, you want to say what's up? No, I would never fight children, obviously, but sometimes they say some really hurtful stuff. And it's probably the, mm, I don't know if it's the worst coming from children, but children are usually more honest about stuff than people, like human, like adult human beings, so I don't know. But I've had experiences where somebody said something to me out in public, and it is what it is, like, people say things that are mean all the time, and you just kind of, like, don't, like, let it sink in sometimes, because, like, it is what it is. Um... Hey, man, it is what it is, right? Like, don't let it sink in like that. How much do you have to hate? Like, you're insecure if that's the point. Yourself to literally... She's projecting. I'm gonna... It's, it's just major projection. Like, instead of acknowledging that she has some deep inner thoughts, like, negative thoughts about her weight, because obviously this wouldn't apply to you. Like, if somebody drove by me and was like, Damn, bro, you really gay. You're really gay. I see you a zest fest. I see the way you switch in your walk. You look like a prostitute from GTA San Andreas. I would then go, oh, okay. Yeah, like, I don't really, it's fine. If you think I'm gay, I'm, you know, that's fine. You can think I'm gay, but I'm not gay. So fine, it's fine though. Like, I'm not gonna take value in it because there is no value in it. You can say whatever you fucking want about me being gay um, because it doesn't apply to me. So if you are, you know, somebody says something mean to you here and you take it so incredibly hard that you're literally crying maybe it's not them it might just be you because that's just like uh you know it's just a random npc encounter and you're just sitting here like flabbergasted like it, forget about them let's talk about what's going on with you do you have to be in like how much do you have to hate yourself it's not about hating them bro. this woman dude projection like crazy dude admit that you have problems to literally shit on perfect strangers and just try to embarrass them publicly like that is so embarrassing for you like that is such a weird fucking thing to do you know what's interesting you're saying it's embarrassing for them and yet you just said that you were embarrassed because it happened to you and then after proceeding to tell us that it was embarrassing for you you then upload a video talking about how embarrassing it was for you while saying that they are the ones that should be embarrassed you i don't even like my brain can't actually compute that the first part is if this was like a 13 year old boy i'd be like classic he was probably between like 18 and 20. Like he's definitely a young <laughs> okay. adult. And I just think that's insane. Like in this class, what are you doing? Of course, there are people who are fat phobic. Again, it's usually just like shitty comments that you get like, oh, like, you know, like I've heard of this new diet or, you know, whatever. To be that cruel to like say that to a little- right. you You're going off too hard about this shit, dude. You're insecure. Don't know what for. You're turning heads when you walk through the door. Or you don't need makeup to cover up. Okay, let me stop. But the point I'm making is, dude, you're projecting. It's obvious. You're, you're literally the definition of projecting right now. Why are you going so hard about this shit? I get it. It was a dramatic experience. But why was it a dramatic experience? Can we look inward a little bit? Can you look in the mirror and then ask yourself, why was this such a dramatic experience that you had this happen to you? And then you cried about it, and then the next day you made a video about it after you literally said it was embarrassing, and this is only gonna make it worse. You do realize that. Well, stranger in public is so, like, that's crazy to me. For some definitely things. Is it? Like, bro, people do weirder shit all the time. I saw, dude, okay, look, man. I saw a dude the, not the other day, probably two months ago. You know those, like, uh, little scooters that you can ride at, like, Walmart or whatever? I just saw a guy uh, just riding around that shit with no shirt on, bro. Uh, big black man, big fat black man in the middle of the street had cars honking at him and shit, dude. And that's way more crazy than just some random guy drive by and telling you a whale. I don't know. Like, have you never been outside before, dude? Shit happens a lot, bro. Like, all the time. It's, like, it's crazy. Things that people, I think, don't understand about fat phobia and, like, discrimination. It's not even, it's not even like... 
Dude, if this is something that happens to you, like, often, like, okay. But you're telling me this is, like, this has not happened to you in a long time, right? Or ever. And you're surprised by this, dude. It's not, it's really not about the person just drive by on you. It's more so about, like, why you feel that way. Like, why is this affecting you so dramatically? Like, that should be the question. That fat people face, but... Again, like, externalizing the externalization is crazy, bro. Never on you. Never on these people, bro. They can never take responsibility, dude. These manipulation tactics are crazy. Actively, like, say something like that is so absurd. I honestly, I didn't even know how to react. Again, to do that on the internet is one thing. Hiding behind a keyboard, I get it. But to shamelessly do that to somebody's face, that's just fucking crazy in my opinion. And I'm honestly kind of glad I can't relate. That's just nuts. First date went like- I wish that she would just like actually find out why the problem is like that, you know? Blue guy's kind of scared. Bit check. Blue guys, I'm kind of nervous. But at the same time, I'm kind of not because I ain't never heard of that bitch get kidnapped. Dude, uh, she's out of breath, and that's a crazy-ass thing to say. Like, I'm going on a first date, and it's okay, though, because he can't kidnap me because I'm physically, I like, there's no way he can pick me up. I mean, dude, you know what, bro? I mean, anytime, I've heard this actually a few times, bro. I've, I don't even know how this can even be, a, like, a good thing. You know what I'm talking about? The fact that you're even thinking about getting kidnapped in general is crazy, but then the fact that you're going, if I was to be kidnapped, so fucking what? Like, I, he can't. He physically cannot pick me up, like, unless he's, like, Hulk Hogan or some shit like that. Is it gonna be impossible? That's a crazy ass thing to say, dude. Lose some fucking weight. God damn. Like, I get it. Uh, if you're thinner, it's gonna be easier to kidnap. But, like, dude, like, is that really the bar? Is that really where we're stopping? Like, I'm fat because I can't be kidnapped? Like, what are you talking? What the fuck? What kind of niche ass scenario is that, bro? Jeez. I'm kind of nervous, but at the same time, I'm kind of not because I ain't never heard of that bitch get kidnapped. And then, by the way, to be like, I'm going on a date, I'm nervous. Not because, the, like, you're on a date and there's, like, social cues involved and you like the guy and you think he might be cool and you want to appeal to him. But because you think you're going to be kidnapped. But you just told me you're not going to be kidnapped because it's physically impossible. So, I guess. And I'm a big girl. Baby, who going to kidnap me? No one. Why are you out of breath? Because you Dude, like, there's so much... <sighs> And by the way, these lashes ain't it, dude. Uh, it's just not it, bro. Not not right. The lashes are way too big. They're way too thick. These spider leggies are not on fleek. And I'm a big girl. Baby, who gonna kidnap me? No one. Cause you Yo, why? It's gotta be a great thing to have your... You can have your face just rest on the outside of your neck like that. Isn't that crazy, bro? I mean, there are benefits sometimes to having a big belly where you could just put shit on it and just leave it there. But to have a neck that you could ju you could just have your head just resting on your neck like that, man, that's crazy, bro. Like, I mean, you're just, you just does one less thing to move, I guess. Why you kidnap me? I'm a dead weight my ass. Keep <laughs> my big ass up. You Damn. gonna work for this. You gonna work for this, baby. Damn. I don't, are you wearing a necklace? Was that a necklace? Keep my big ass up. You gonna work for this. You gonna work for this, baby. Oh, there is a necklace. Catch me if you want to. Or pick me up if you want to. You ain't catching nobody. <laughs> Is that him back there? He told me I talk too much. What? The, where the fuck are you? What is this? Update. It's the next morning. I made it home safely. Bro, man, dude. Why is? Look, dude. Put the camera up here. Put the camera up here. Okay. Do this. Do this. Okay. Stop. Like, what is? And a bitch didn't get kidnapped. <laughs> and we have fun. You just said it was a 2 out of 10, though. What the fuck? You had fun with a guy with a 2 out of 10? By the way, when somebody says, I have fun, I'm thinking cheeks clapping. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, this is a, this is a first date. That's cool. What do you guys go to? Like some oriental Chinese shop? God damn. God damn. I ain't gonna say nothing. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, dude. I'm happy she had a good date, dude. All right, guys. That's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. All those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, thank you for watching today's video. Uh, I want to thank everybody that's a member of the channel, everybody that's already subscribed. Thank you so much. You're a beautiful, amazing, spectacular person. If you watch the video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in skis. 
because skis are great and they're nicely shapened and I like the way that they slide against the snow and the way those guys like lean forward when they do the you know what I'm talking about the the the, the national skiing thing where they like lean forward to increase air resistance so they can like scoop us across the air and float along whatever it's really crazy actually that they can do that but anyway um leave it down below a ski or if there's a ski emoji uh, you smell really great today, by the way. I love the way your hair and the way your eyes are so incredibly beautiful and majestic and awesome. And I also like your arm hair. Yeah, it's nice. It's really thick. It's really nice. Uh, don't nair it. Don't. Don't nair it. Don't shave it. It's nice. I like it. Mine is nice too, right? Do you like my arm hair? No? Yes? No? No, you don't like my arm hair. But I like yours. Yours is really nice. Beautiful, actually. Really delectable. Can I put my tongue upon that? Anyway... Um, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.